in this problem we have this screw clamp which is this structure that you can see here in the figure which generates a combined bending tension stress at this section x x then we have to plot the resultant normal stress distribution at this section in terms of the clamping force f so this is the this is the piece of material that we are holding and we can simplify this structure as this and we can substitute here the clamping force F then as I said we have to calculate what is the stress field distribution here at this section? As you can see, this force here first is creating stress due to tension. So this segment, which I will call AB, is in tension due to this force F. And at the same time, this force F is creating here having the moment because it is a force applied at a certain distance L. Then we have to combine those stresses, the normal stress and the bending stress, in order to plot what is the total stress distribution at this point. So we can start with the stress due to tension You already know that the stress, the normal stress due to axial forces is equal to the force divided by the area. This is F divided by A. Then if this is my cross section here, this is Y. The stress distribution here is constant and it is positive because the whole section is in tension so this is the magnitude f divided by a and now we can calculate the stress due to bending which using the flexural formula, the stress due to bending is equal to the moment times y divided by the moment of inertia. So we know that if this is the cross section, this direction is y, we have from the side that the stress distribution is something like this, right? It is zero. At the neutral axis, since this is a, a double symmetric section, the neutral axis is um, is at the center, so it is symmetrical, and this upper part is in tension, and this lower part is in compression. So this is tension, tension as well, and this is compression. You can see this, or you can yeah try to understand this from the deformation shape of AB. We have that this is the, the shape of AB deformed. So you can see here that this part is in tension and that the lower part is compressed. Then in order to plot the resultant normal stress, we have to combine these two stresses and we get the formula that we already know that the total stress is equal to the force divided by a plus the moment times y divided by uh, the moment of inertia so again this is the cross section this direction is y so we have to sum both contributions so here the tension the tensile stress is contributing in the same direction and here the compressive stress is being subtracted so the final 
expression is this one. Of course, depending on the on these parameters, on the area of this cross section, the moment of inertia, this distance, we could have here a distribution like this. We don't know if we have here some compression or not. But in this case, we have decided to give this result that is also possible. So we have tension in both parts, but here the magnitude of the stress is larger.